Tari, welcome back for another Spyglass tutorial. So here I'm going to show you how do you set constraint in Spyglass. First, let's look at the project files that I've created previously. We're going to have uh, a top project. So in here, I'll read in my Verilog file. I'll read in my constraint file and then some of the options uh, as well as the methodology that I'll be running. So the next thing we want to look at just to quickly uh, give you a, a look is my Verilog file. So here I have an interface called bundle and I have a module top that basically instantiates this into something called BUND and then I'm using this to connect in between the two different modules that I have. Right, so uh, we have a condition where we have a two clocks and we'll have a uh, uh, data going from one clock to the other without a synchronizer. So let's look at uh, what we're going to get and uh, how do we create a constraint. So in my SGDC right now, just to start off with, I've defined what are my clocks. Clock and clock 2, they are of different domain and my reset. So let's execute Spyglass and open our project. Okay, let's run the goal. For CDC verify struct. All right. Now we see there are three errors. Uh, one of it is the AC unsync has zero one. And this is the path that uh, I'm interested in. Let's look at the incremental schematic. So here it is showing us uh, your source is from the purple color clock 1 going to the destination in yellow clock 2 and you can see in the legend here the crossing path is highlighted in orange so going from ban a wretch to ban c wretch so if let's say I know that this is a quasi static I can click on this particular signal right click go to set spyglass constraint and here's a drop down box of all the constraints you can set within spyglass you can obviously type in here to get to the one you want very quickly. Quasi-static, the name of the signal is automatically inserted for you. What you'll have to do next is generate. And this is the command name. And it knows that I already have a constraint file. I can just quickly append and run the goal again. So there is generated into my top.sgdc constraint file. It's rerunning my CDC verify struct goal. And now there are only two errors which is related to reset. If I look into the info, you can see that there is already a sync crossing here, which is a path that we've seen earlier on. And now it says that it does not require synchronization because of my quasi static. So if you open up schematic all over again, we can see the same path. You see there's an additional plus sign here, and uh, this will tell us that that is a particular constraint that's been added. You can see that there is a quasi static set to yes. All right, so this is an easy way to use the GUI to set constraints uh, and have them generated for you into your constraint file. Alright, thanks for joining us. See you next time.